really double overtime game. And it comes like all that shooting, all that stuff. And it ends in free throws. It's just, that is so disgusting. I, I, I just can't. All right, let's, let's get, let's get after it. Let's get to these games. We're going to go over every single game today, just like last night. And by the way, these were the locks last night, guys. This is what we came up last night with last night uh, for today, and we went four and two. So uh, I'm going to keep track of this. Uh, our locks here on the live stream moving forward. This will be a daily thing. So uh, currently four and two. Um, what are we going to do? What do I want to do? The th That double overtime game took up so much of my time. I was going to come on here and get a couple of things ready. Um but I think I think I'll just have to. We're just gonna wing it today. We're gonna go through these games, get this done, and uh, I'll figure out a way to keep track of the record uh, moving forward. Tomorrow, I'll take care of that that type of thing. So, um, God, I just can't believe that Warriors game ended with free throws, double overtime, and ends with free throws. I just, I don't care if you win or lose the bet, but you cannot, you cannot do that. You cannot let him inside. You have to make. At least make them shoot a jump shot. Free throws? Free throws to end that game. All those buzzer beaters and crazy shots. Fucking free throws. Bullshit. Um, all right. Let's get to these games. Four and two yesterday on our locks. Now, there is a game tonight going off in a couple of minutes that is technically like on Sunday because it's in Hawaii, but I'm not going to count it. I'm going to count that as part of yesterday's. We're going to start with the right state game. Uh, it's a noon time game. I'm talking Eastern time. So let's, let me see if I can. Um, yeah, let's, I'm going to keep this here. So let's, sorry, that double overtime game took up so much time. I'm not really prepared for tonight. Let me pull up the locks for tonight. There's not too many games, so this video won't be terribly long today, this stream. Okay. So, let's save this, and let's switch that. All right, we'll update it as we go. Um, again, the first game, I, I really don't have an opinion on this one. I think I'm taking, I think I'm taking the points here. Right state minus 14 and a half on the road. I, I that's too much. Give me the points. Next game. Here's a good one. Yukon Xavier. This one's tricky too. I mean, has Xavier overachieved up to this point in time? Ten and a half points. Ten and a half points. Xavier at Yukon. Xavier, Yukon, ten and a half. See, this this is. This is, man, this one's really going to be close. I think we have to lay the points, right? Do we have to lay the points here? Ten and a half? Xavier, though. Xavier. I mean, even teams like um, Georgetown and and some of these other teams have hung right in there with UConn. Ten and a half, even on home court. That feels like a lot. Ten and a half over Xavier. Clinging back in the lineup for UConn. That is big. Maybe they start to go on a tear here. Number one in the country. I'm laying the points. This is not a lock, though. Next game, Texas State, Louisiana. Texas State getting eight and a half. Texas State getting eight and a half over Louisiana. That seems pretty good. Do we lock that up? I think we lock this one up. I think we lock this one up. Texas, let me think. Texas State over Louisiana. Do we lock this up? Do we lock this up? Um... My bad. I hit the wrong button. This is what I meant. Yes, lock alert. This is a lock alert. Do we want to move forward with this one, though? Texas State getting eight and a half at Louisiana. I think we do. I, th I, th I think we're going to lock this one up. Let me add it to the banner here. Let me edit this. Lock number one for tonight is going to be Texas State. Plus eight and a half. Texas State get eight and a half. Wow. Interesting. All right. All right. So we found one already. We're cooking. I I can't even think straight right now. Double fucking overtime. Warriors hit a crazy three to go up one. 
with four seconds and it ends in fucking free throws. I want to puke right now. That's I that's so that's so frustrating. Really? God, so dumb. By the way, just to stay transparent, guys, uh, members picks today, three and two. We lost one unit off complete bullshit. Our three losses were Miami not covering against Pitt by a single point. They were up 11 and a half and couldn't cover five. And then Oklahoma and Baylor, straight bets, both teams off of a loss at home. And they they didn't even win the game. Ridiculous, man. What a fucking stupid day. But that's all right. Last night, our locks went four and two. You know what? Days like this happen. You lose a unit. It's no big deal. You Losing a unit is like the last. Some people have any average Joe or any average sports better make 10 bets in college basketball. I, I bet you they go like two and eight. So losing one unit, not a big deal. Purdue. Purdue and Rutgers. Purdue and Rutgers. Ten and a half, man. Is ten and a half too much? It's like the same thing as UConn. I, the chance of an outright upset is so slim, but 10 and a half. Do we, do we think Rutgers at home, at least UConn's at home laying 10 and a half. This is Purdue on the road, but Purdue is so good. Rutgers. Can Rutgers keep this within 10 and a half at home? Uh, I think so. I think we, I think we go with Rutgers. This is not a lock either. We only have one lock for tonight so far. Can't get there. Th this is a no bet for me. I mean, you, the same with the Yukon game. It's like, I, I don't know, 10 and a half. Might as well go play roulette, pick a color 50, 50 chance. Next game, Robert Morris, Cleveland state. I don't want to lay seven and a half, but I think that's the right side. Give me Cleveland State laying the points. Next game, North Texas at FAU. Eight and a half. FAU, man, they screwed around against Wichita. They screwed around against Wichita. Now North Texas, it's just like, what, what, what team are we going to get out of FAU here? Are we going to get the A team? If we get the A game out of FAU, they should cover eight and a half. Whether it takes some free throws at the end of the game to be decided, but. I'm going to lean FAU here. Next game, Northern Kentucky, Youngstown State. Northern Kentucky, Youngstown State. I like Youngstown State to win this game. Are they going to cover seven and a half, though? Youngstown State at home over Northern Kentucky, laying seven and a half? I think they probably cover. Not, not even close to a lock, though. Next game, Arkansas State, UL Monroe. Probably UL Monroe at home getting the points, but that's an ugly game. Next game, Fairfield. Fairfield's at home, laying one and a half. Do we lock up Fairfield on the money line at minus one thirty? That's that's pretty doable. Fairfield money line at home minus one thirty. Is that worth a lock? Is that worth a lock? We can't, we can't do it. Fairfield at home. I like them to win the game. I can't, I can't lock that up, guys. We got to keep this record going. I'm, I can't lock that up. SMU, Wichita State. SMU is definitely the better team, but Wichita, they put up that fight against FAU. Now they're home catching five and a half. This is crazy too, man. These games tomorrow. Don't bet college basketball tomorrow. Stick to NFL. SMU, Wichita State. SMU on the road probably gets the job done. Cover five and a half at Wichita. Wichita's had a down year. This is not the same Wichita teams as years past, but this seems like a stretch. I'm gonna I'm gonna lean. I'm gonna lean SMU to even go on the road and get the job done. Next game, we got three more guys. Temple, East Carolina. Money's about split on this game. A spread of six and a half. You like East Carolina to probably get the win with the home court advantage. Temple, can they can they backdoor cover six and a half? I'm going to lean Temple in the points. I'm not sure. I'm going to lean Temple in the six and a half here. Next game, Memphis at UAB. Number 19 in the country, only laying four and a half. That, that feels short. That feels like it's a bit short. Minus four and a half on the road, though. They're going to get UAB's best effort here, being ranked like that. They're going to get the best effort. I don't know if we can do it. 
I'm I'm going to lean I'm going to lean UAB. I think I think I think Memphis is going to be a big public play tomorrow. I'm not really sure. That that's basically a pass. And to round this thing out at 10 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow is Nevada. And I bet on Nevada in that um that game against who is that game against? They had a really good home court uh home performance over somebody. They were favored 4. Anyways, I I double result bet Nevada in that game. They look good, but now they're on the road against a decent New Mexico team, eight and a half. Eight and a half. I'm going to lean New Mexico in the point and, 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 and lay in the points here. Eight and a half, though, it's really, if this was five and a half, six and a half, I'd feel way better. Uh, maybe use New Mexico on the money line. They should get the job done, add it into like a parlay for a day or something, like make a small parlay. I think that's probably the way to go. All these numbers are like right where they should be. There's no value tomorrow. All these lines are pretty sharp. You could do UConn on the money line, FAU on the money line, and then New Mexico on the money line to round it out. And that comes to minus 125, about the odds of your average bet. A little bit more juice, but those are three pretty good money lines. Um, We usually end the stream with a... Uh, a parlay. So let me go ahead and, and put that on the stream. We barely missed the streams parlay last night. We went with Washington State, Moneyline, and Oregon uh, and, and only got one of the two. So um, so let's add in our live stream parlay. Fucking Warriors, man. Fucking pieces of shit. Up one with four seconds, and they they fucking hack LeBron James under the basket. Makes me sick. UConn, FAU, and New Mexico on on the money line, and this is coming in at minus one twenty five right now. Um. So there we go. There's our live stream parlay. I like UConn to win the game. I like FAU and I like New Mexico. All are pretty big favorites. All are on their home court. Okay, so even if these games are a little stressful, home court advantage, the better teams should get the job done, minus 125. Um, And we only have one lock, only one lock tonight. I like Texas State getting eight and a half. I think it's going to happen. What's up? What up, Robert? Thanks for checking in, man. Um, hopefully you caught last night's stream. We went four and two with our locks. Only got one lock tonight though for you, man. Texas State. Texas State catching eight and a half. So hopefully we can come through that. We got our live stream parlay, a little three team money line parlay. Sundays aren't a huge slate, but I'll see you guys back here midnight tomorrow after the NFL games are done to talk about Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are like some of the best days. Saturdays get a little crazy. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are awesome uh, college basketball. Wow, sorry I was in a bad mood tonight. I mean, maybe, you know, halfway decent mood. Not not a great entertaining mood. You know, I would have been all thrilled if the Warriors held on. Live bet the fucking Warriors. And they fucking give up free throws to LeBron James with one second left in the game. Double overtime, crazy awesome like a like one of the best games of all time between these two teams. Steph Curry hits a big three to take the lead with four seconds left, and they fucking lose the game on free throws. Just literally fucking depressing. And it just I'll catch you guys in the next video.